All right, let's now shift our attention to what is happening in Ukraine, where Ukraine's rebel leaders in the Donetsk region have now announced a general mobilization. And this comes after the leaders in the separatist region announced that they were evacuating residents to Russia, citing intensified mortar shelling by the Ukrainian forces. Now, these are the latest visuals that are coming in, and that show of people from the front lines being moved back to safer locations, people queuing up to get into buses and cars so that they can be evacuated outside of Donetsk and closer to the Russian border. Now, the queue of cars and buses stretch for almost about 22 kilometers towards the border checkpoint in Russia from the Donetsk region. And Russia has said that refugee camps will be set up near the border for people arriving from separatist areas. A loud warning siren was also sounded in the center of the city. Soon after the announcement of the evacuation, observers from the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe reported a significant rise in the number of attacks along the front lines in Eastern Europe. So these, of course, are the latest visuals that have come in from Donetsk. Remember this, this, of course, is the rebel-held region in eastern Ukraine, along with another region called Luhansk. And these together are known as the Donbas region, where fighting has been ongoing for the last eight years. On Friday, the separatist leaders had said that a parked jeep was blown up near a government building in Donetsk. The Ukrainian officials have said that this was clearly a staged attack that was designed to stoke tensions. In fact, Ukraine's top security officials have accused Russia on Friday of staging provocations to get Ukraine's military to respond. Now, the Russian President Vladimir Putin has also said that the situation is very volatile and is also deteriorating in eastern Ukraine. Putin has accused Ukraine of human rights violations against the Russian ethnic minorities in eastern Ukraine and has urged authorities in Kiev to enter into negotiations with the separatist leaders. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.